as far as the podcast goes, I won't be doing the podcast. As far as the podcast goes, I won't be doing the podcast. As far as the podcast goes, I won't be doing the podcast. As far as the podcast goes, I won't be doing the podcast. As far as the podcast goes, I won't be doing the podcast. So we are b b b b b b b b it's the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm your host with the most toast, Friday Ricky Dread. And to the left of me. It's your boy Gucci, Gucci Gang. You already know, man. Damn, yo. What the fuck happened to everybody? Fuck, I don't even know, bro. And wait a minute. If you here, who the fuck's filming this shit? Who did that beat? Um, boy Wonder, I don't know. Right? Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I suppose Boy Wonder when, when the camera. When the, and the boy wants to get in his bag and, and get into this thing. Why are you doing all twist up and twist up and twist the you up? Them, thing, man. The you, them, long oh, week, them, long week, you know You, them. Oh, okay. I think I'm, think I'm ready to do this. It's different. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> Am I recording? Okay. Let's fucking, um, let's do it. La, la, yeah. la, la. Wait till I get my money. Cheese. When I that on a necklace. Tell God I'll be back in a second. Man, it's so hard not to act reckless. Get a The more scrutiny and what I do. Kind of easy, man. Yo, what is this? The graduation? Graduation album. <laughs> Classic. Who was it? Who was it? In LO. Hey, hey, hey. Chill cuts, chill cuts. <laughs> it's about to go down. What the people damn like? Kanye, what she don't believe in? She don't believe in shooting stars, uh-huh. but she believe in shoes and cars. Okay. Uh-huh. Jeez. Talk to him. And the weather's so breezy. Man, why can't life always be this easy? It's so sleazy. Where are you, Gussie? Don't come at the boy. Where are you? I'm in shock. Somebody's looking for you. I'm in shock. <laughs> yeah, that's. Somebody's looking for you, Yeezy. I don't think he's looking. So if you rebuke me for working with someone else on a couple of V's, what do you? Jeez. I wrote things to him and thought that we never would need. Father had to stretch his hands out and get it from me. I popped out for 30 hours and let him repeat. What was I? Why are you throwing me weed? Putting pen to the sheets. Tired of sitting quiet and helping my enemies eat. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Can you throw it one more? Huh? Zero. Zero two. Zero. Oh, you want that yeah, too? Yeah, I want that. Yeah, I learned a game from William Wesley. You can never check William it. Wesley. Jeez. Bad to bad like I'm Jordan 96, 97. Ooh, very important. And very- Jeez. Huh. Yeah, and fuck you left the boy no eyes. Uh huh. Then it's gonna get me blamed. Bottles for Charlemagne. You gon' make me go out of my fucking way. One more. Who are you gonna make you buy bottles for? Huh? Who are you gonna make you buy bottles for? I'm not sure what it was that really made y'all mad, but I. Make y'all rap about it. Real quick. on some chill shit. They be on that rap to pay the bill. going in today. Not even a little bit. Know yourself, know your work. 
My ex is getting louder than my words. Uh huh. Jeez. So we are buck 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 is the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm your host with the most toast Friday, Ricky Dread, aka Media Rick, aka Mixy Rick. Mixy now too. AKA fuckery enhancer, aka move the culture forward, not backward. Um, we got gutsy guts in the building. We got hey. Gucci gang in the building. Yo, PK gang. Hurt just walked in. He's in the, he in the uh, back uh, in the background uh, doing uh, his thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and we we fucking chilling over here at the Visionary Arts Center. Yes, book your time now. Yes, sir. Gutsy guts, what you saying today, man? Not man, it's your boy Ginobili G, Viral G in the building. Birthday coming up very very soon. Virgo gang, stand the hell up, man. Make sure you go check out episode sixty one, six views uncut. Make sure you tap in. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. And big um big shout out to the Opera House, Rochester Juice, everybody that um was out there that night. Yo, that was fun as hell. I got to meet um Minty Burns. Mm, That's Minty dope. Burns. Shout out Minty Burns, fam. And yeah, man. Um I was gonna get into my weekend yeah. after, but yeah, just big up everybody that's out there doing their thing, man. And yeah, we're gonna have a dope ass podcast. Gotcha, gotcha. Ow. Gucci, talk to us, man. It's your boy Gucci, man. You already know the boy behind the camera. Ow. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, shout out to the supporters for holding us down. You know what I mean? This is episode two, 237. 237. We up there, baby. Why are you pushing it to 250 so quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we working so hard. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, man, shout out everybody. Shout out to the team. Huh. You know what I mean? Shout out to PK, huh. and me, Gutsy. Friday, you already know the whole squad. It's your boy Gucci Gang. Gang. Yeah, man, we back at it, man. Um, salute to everybody in the city right now, man, and 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 salute to PK Herc. You know what I'm saying? Once again, um, you know what I mean? Who've been holding it down with us from day Wizan? Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of love was shown in that in that video that we um, posted um, on the YouTube channel as well as on Facts. Instagram and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So salute to all the people out there also. Make showing sure. that they've been watching you know yeah what I'm make sure you guys keep running up pk herx things all of the things follow the twitch big instagram facts. twitter if you have twitter all of that there big facts big facts but um before we even get into anything man like what what's, what's been going on with y'all this week man talk to us yo virgo friggin season started man I can't gang, lie. Eh? like this weekend was lit like i thought gucci's weekend <laughs> for, for his birthday was lit god damn this weekend was lit man um First off, I got to shout out my boy, uh, Cash. He held a party. Uh, I guess it's Day Rave. Uh, what is it? Gal Holiday. Big up um, Cash, man. He, uh, yo, that party, super lit. Uh, and two, this, I'm telling you, August is the month for Toronto Urban. I don't know what the hell to call it. But um, shout out to 220. 220 Impressive Boss, mm. Carry Music. Um, they were all in the freaking um the party, fam. I was there, press was like, yo, who's that gutsy? What the hell are you doing at this Yachty event, bro? Celebrity da, 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 da. guts. But yeah, that was um that was fun. Um, then what did we do Saturday? Saturday was the party. Sunday, what did I do Sunday? I went to the Falls Sunday, Gooch? Yeah, uh, you went to Niagara Falls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went God to the Falls. damn. Yo, I haven't been to the Falls in a minute, bro. Like, just to have fun. Like, I go to the Falls for other reasons. But just mm. to have fun, like, the man need to leave the city, bro. Like, just leave the city and just engage in just fun shit, bro. Yeah. I miss that energy. Like, I was just calling the man. I'm like, yo, I'm outside. Just walking. Yeah, every time you holler at me, you're in another location. I'm like, this thing is living his best life. Yeah, man. Oh, fam. Fuck. Like, yo, honestly, it was just good to just have that vibe of just going out there. Like, I wanted to pot out there. Like, the energy, everything was good. I didn't have, like, you know when you're, you're just driving down the street and then part of you is just like, yo, is the feds behind me or something? Like, I'm just driving, like, no worries, no care in the world. Like, people were looking at me like, hey, hey, bud, how's your fucking week? How's your weekend, man? Right? Yeah, that's awesome. Right? You, you got to go on the sky wheel. I was just like, yo, fam, just enjoyable time. Enjoyable that turned into one of them time. sociable people who just talk to every stranger on the phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know the one there, Gooch? Yeah, you see everybody. Me and this old guy was there talking. Like, he was just, uh, you know what? 
It's like, come back here, back in the day. They didn't ever have none of these stuff. Why are you just looking at him like, stop talking to me? Yeah, she's just like, look, just go back to the telly and fuck. But yeah, it was like, honestly, it was a good time. And I encourage anybody that's out there, not even if you're just from the streets, just anybody in general, go outside and just have fun. You know what I'm saying? Go spend whatever money you have and just enjoy yourself a little bit, man. Mm-hmm. Cause that life is short, B. Life is too short. What about you, Gucci? I know you've been man, out there I, was, it up. I was just I was actually working. Like, you know, I actually oh, shout out to Chris. I hired him. He's helping out helping me with my YouTube channel. Oh, no. You know what I mean? So shout out to Chris. He, he got all the videos. Yo, you guys make sure you check out Clear Star Studios. Right now we at 600 subscribers. Hey. That means 600 subscribers. So that means who else, is, who else is trying to help me push this YouTube? Holla at me, you know what I mean? Oh, oh I you think you're pillow. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm giving you your love. Wait a minute. You're ready to come up to Chris who? Chris Guy? Yes, no, 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 no. Nah, my, no, my because boy. you met him, right? I'm oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my boy Chris. My boy Chris, though. But shout out to Chris Guy, you know what I mean? Free for up. coming through. Yeah, free up. <laughs> free up. Free the man. Hold on, um, really quick. Oh, you done? Sorry. Uh, yeah, just, I'm just, just straight working, you know, just working on my craft. And I, yeah, I like. And, um,. Gutsy actually came to pick me up. Was it yesterday? Yesterday. He picked me up and we went to go um Captain Boy. So that's the only thing I really did for the mm. week. So mm. but yeah, you know. I see you on your fucking YouTube channel getting busy, nigga. <laughs> yeah, fam. I'm there watching a video last night in bed. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm watching Rock Boy Ninja. Nope. And then I looked in the corner, I'm like, that fucking logo looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit, I got that on a sweater. It's Gucci's fucking. Head. This is how this is how I know. This is how I know. When I don't hear the thrilling at the beginning, yeah. I know it's Gucci. If I hear the thrilling at the beginning, I know it's Rock Boy Ninjas. And really quick, subscribe to my YouTube page. Yeah. Roni interview by now should be at a thousand views. Thank you guys so friggin' much. Yeah, yeah. Also, I finally hit 300 subscribers. Jeez. Keep subscribing. Same with the Twitch. I got my first sub on Twitch too. Yeah, um, new interview should be out. Roche, that guy, by the time this comes out. So make sure you subscribe, run that up. Yeah, we out here working. Like, we're making content. We're not sc- not just screen recording out here. We out here. We actually working. make content. You remember that song? <laughs> Playing. Yo, you're a fucking ass, bro. Like, holy. That- I should have just let that one slip. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, that troll, that troll, that kid, that kid. Um... Uh, oh, yeah. You? oh yeah, 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 yeah. What the yeah. fuck you do? Yeah. Working. Working. <laughs> <laughs> no, editing. I see editing. you. Getting, I see you getting busy because the girls were came yeah, on Tuesday no, no, too. No, 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 no cap. Like uh, it's working, but it's it's work Deep that cap. I love, right? It's no, it's work that I love, so, no, so no, it doesn't no. feel like work. Sorry, no, I was just saying he had to just say the date. But yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah, so, whatever, salute whatever. To, to the truth be told, um, yeah. them get them the ladies right there doing their fucking thing. They've been getting low in Olivia. Yeah, low in Olivia. They've been on the consistency train right now, like week after week. They're filming. They're they've been filming over here at the Visionary Art, Visionary Art Center. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and I've had the pleasure of, of producing the episodes for them. So, you know what I mean? That's 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 been a good look. You know what I mean? And there's people booking their time over here. Oh, quick thing also, I want to give a quick shout. Shout out to PK Herc. He got Jeez. we got these glasses here. Anybody who wants to get any merch from us, mm. glasses, hats, any type of thing. Like we'll put and if you want to get your own logo put on stuff, holler at us. We got you. We got you. You know, I mean. You know what I'm saying? You wanna come over there and scoop that? Mm. Hold on. Two seconds. Mm. Give me a second here. But yeah, man, we got mad merchandise. You know what I'm saying? What, what do we got here coming over here? Holy. That look like a Ouija. I love my <laughs> Solid. Holy. That look like a Ouija. Okay, Jared. It had to be. A lie, this looks like a Ouija. I mean, but not for, not for the cheap niggas. You know what I mean? Who just buys the a one dime. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. You have a, a, a passion. You know what I'm saying? A nice passion. But yo, one thing I want to get to before we get to our music, yo. Um, 
Oh, I should give my shout outs. I forgot to yeah, shout outs. Out. Shout out to all the people who are at their desks right now, the cubicle gang gang, all the nine to five warriors. Yes. You know, and not only all the people in the offices, you know, the people who are working at the construction sites, mm. you know what I'm saying? Warehouse gang, everybody mm. who be doing their fucking thing, you know what I'm saying? Fact. Fighting that good fight. Um, salute to all the people who are listening on the listening platforms, whether you're, whether you're listening on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, any of the listening platforms, and SoundCloud for the free listeners. I think I said that. Yeah. YouTubers, all the people who are watching on YouTube, make sure to subscribe, hit that subscription button, and, and make sure to like this fucking video, okay? Stop fucking playing. Don't be watching the video, let me see 2,000 views on it, and like 50 likes. We need to see at least 200 likes for the 2,000 views. Let's go. And you know I'll do a saying? dance. I'll do a sweet dance for y'all if I'll you like I'll do a like TikTok for y'all niggas, yo. Hey. 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 <laughs> I got excited But um, yeah My salute to all y'all You know what I'm saying We, we love y'all And if without y'all we, we, There's no us You know what I'm saying um, But OnlyFans Cloud chasers <laughs> The man caught OnlyFans Cloud chasers The fucking cloud chasers fam <laughs> Yo fam Yo we barely got The fucking piece out Okay <laughs> Alright Salute to the YouTube channel Like I was just saying Right I just just put out a piece With Gutsy Guts And, and I talking about Yo OnlyFans Is talking about Changing their rules In October only fans done with the pornography. Ooh. We had that conversation on Friday, fam. <laughs> and the big man, up, sorry to cut you, big up Sagittarius showed yes, you that called in and, and gave us some more info on that. Right? All the gal them are in a frenzy. Tiger's like, all right, fuck you. I'm out of here. I'm going to my own site. Facts. Jenna Shame, enough people is doing the same thing. These guys, uh, uh, um, actually, nah, as you were, we're not making any changes. I'll, I'll read, read you what they said. So thank you for um, thank you to everyone for making our voices making your voices heard. We have secured assurance necessary to support your diverse creator community, and have suspended the planned October first policy change. OnlyFans stands for inclusion, and we will continue to provide a home for all creators. So no changes, as you were, everybody. Well, like I told you, fam, like they were gonna get a lot of backlash if they if they carried on with that because. Let's be real. It's the sex. It's the the pornography that got OnlyFans big. So when you're telling people that went on there, got your platform big, okay, well, sorry, you can't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. You're gonna piss a lot of people off, bro. And then shout out to Saji who also said like it just the the message that they were getting. She did say it that did, it, it seemed fake. weird. Yeah, yeah, like it just seemed weird. So she yeah, said it looked like it came from a spam account. Yes, that's what she said. So, like, I don't know. I'm I'm glad that the, the gal them are able, and the man them that are on there making their dollars. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm glad that they did that because I just feel like at some point the apps or the platforms need to like they just need to give more credit to the the influencers. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like this is could be or maybe a step. Maybe because they just got pressure that they're doing it. But I'm just happy for the, the influencers on OnlyFans. I still think they're fucking cloud chasing. <laughs> and I, I'll tell you why. Okay. Why they do this, right? They get a whole bunch of people to sub now mm -hmm. because people are thinking, oh, well, I only got to October to watch some pum pum, right? Mm. Sub, 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 sub. Subs go up like about 3 million. Let's say. I haven't done any research to see exactly how much the subs went up. But let's say subs go up like a whole bunch of fucking hundreds of thousands. And then you pop up on fucking Wednesday. Ah, yeah, my, my bad. Sorry, we're doing it. We're not doing it anymore. That's a good marketing uh, scheme. What? Uh, cloud chasing scheme. is part of marketing yeah, schemes, yeah, right? Yeah, I guess. I, I still want to consider it cloud chasing. I would, I would say it's a, I don't know. It, it's a good move though. If if they if the shits went up, if the subs and shit went up, that's a great move, bro. Oh. I'm about to say, yo, we love hip hop. Podcast done. Yeah. It's over. <laughs> I, it's over, guys. It's over, guys. Go. I, I call it a Joe Budden move. Pump, 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 it, pump up. it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Just Yo. please. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what I mean, do you think, Gucci? Like, you think it's a good move? Like, I or? mean, like a lot of people got more subs, so obviously anything that could help, you know, what I mean, get the attention. Everybody, you already know, everybody's on that cloud chasing, like you said. You know what I mean? Like, mm. that's why they canceled the baby for every. This is free promo. Like everybody's talking about it. We're talking about it right now. So yeah. the attention guys, is their way. So hold on, you guys are really going to that? Like, fam. I don't even think it's that. Bro. It is that because it's a, that's a good thing, though. Well, like, fam, look, you just mentioned we're talking about it now. <laughs> we're making another content piece on this bitch. Yeah, fuck, you're right, fam. 
How are we gonna talk that's about free that? Advertising, it's funny too because when I wanted that's to bring promo. it up, when I wanted to bring it up on the show Friday, like, yo, this is a big story. I mean, you just want to have it for uncut. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it, yeah. it was a big story, right? So and now here we are with the retraction, free promo, free promo, right? And it's not just us. There's a whole bunch of other podcasts and other radio stations who are like, oh, by the way, no, 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 don't worry, girls, you you can go skin out again. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Fam. No, you're, you're right, you're right. My mom is talking about OnlyFans. Like, oh. you know what I mean? Like, that's how you know, because it's that big, free promo. Mm. Everybody's talking about it. Like, oh, gee, you have, you have OnlyFans? <laughs> you have fans only? Friends you only. sign up? <laughs> you do that dirty thing there? Oh, they, yeah. did a, they did a good job. Though. They did the fucking... Oh, hold on. Like, we're just going to go like... Bump, 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 bump. They had to. Bump, bump it up. That's what they did. Please. So we're just going <laughs> to come off the fact that Gucci's mom is just talking about OnlyFans? <laughs> yeah. And she's looking for Gucci to make sure he yeah, doesn't she, have an account on her. Yeah, she brought up for me. You know what I mean? She knows how I get busy. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me find out Gucci about account on here. <laughs> Gucci, what, what your OnlyFans page call? <laughs> we're going to look it up and see if you have any slackness on there. It's Gucci416 on OnlyFans. <laughs> it's Gucci. Yeah. Just chill, it's, mom. Just yo, chill. Yo, it's Gucci. <laughs> she knows the type of girls I go after, man. <laughs> Yo, it's Yo, Gucci. Gucci. <laughs> Talk to them, Gucci. Uh, bump, 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 just, bump, that's what bump, we do it. Bump, bump it up. Bump it up. <laughs> just please. <laughs> you need, I need to get a real sound effect for that. But yeah, man, I guess I don't want to say shout out to OnlyFans because I feel like they played the okie doke on us. No, shout out OnlyFans. <laughs> shout out OnlyFans. <laughs> you don't be fucking getting no OnlyFans. You get the free shits. Yeah, but still. No, 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 no. Shout out Skinny Bets. You know what I'm saying? I'm subscribed mm. to Skinny Bets' is OnlyFans. No nakedness on there. Okay. Beer dubs. Beer bets. Beer bets. So AP let, bet. Can we do a quick hypothetical before we get off of this then? Facts. If OnlyFans was to go through with their plan, what the fuck would they have followed up with to make their their platform just as hot? They would have to be like a big entertainer or influencer to do something crazy out there. So either... Because you could go on live and shit out there. So I think yeah. you get... You just start some sort of mix up or problem or beef or maybe porn star wars or I don't know. Like you do something where just people are gonna be like, oh wow, you see what's going on in OnlyFans now? Because remember, they were still allowing nudity, just no porn. No porn. So yeah. that's why I'm saying you can still have a one, two porn stars that you, you know, that rock with you, that's willing to follow the rules and whatnot and tell mm -hmm. them, hey, let's get on here and do a boxing fight or, or whatever. I don't know. Something just wild and ridiculous. I think that's what they. Well, if they cancel the whatever the pornography, I think that's what they should do. But who knows? I think it'd be hard, fam, because that's strictly what you go like. Let's be real. Like people are going for OnlyFans for sex, fam. You're not. Yeah. You're not really going to OnlyFans for bets or to see nice pictures of people. Nah, Come on, I want to see somebody getting their back blown out. Yeah, and like it was in existence before people started going into the yeah. sex shit. But nobody it's cared. Just nobody cared until they got into the sex shit, right? Like that's when they started really blowing up during the pandemic. I think a bigger question is when is sex ever going to be okay in the entertainment like pornography and shit like that because like this is going on for years where it's just like anything that has sex involved it's like no we're not doing that look at uncut like i i the uncut segments do good mm -hmm. but they don't do great like some other segments is because i'm talking about sex so taboo we shouldn't talk about it oh, Ew, fire, upon let's that, fire upon that or even in the mainstream media it's like oh okay well you're doing porn so we're not gonna rock with you we'll give you like funny comedy movies mm -hmm. to do but we're not going to give you those, those big roles why not just because she's a porn star yeah, or because he, like, that, what's that girl there in Mia Khalifa she's Mia been Khalifa. trying to shake that porn star she life can't. forever yo. like why it's the same thing how I look at it like if a man's getting arrested or he goes to jail so what if he comes out he's still that the same person yeah. like he can't change like I don't know man That that's whack they got to get over that like all, everybody has sex bro yeah yeah, yeah, no, from back in the day. But not everybody talking films it, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but it doesn't make it not okay, you know what I'm saying? Because somebody's watching it or it wouldn't have millions or billions of views. Ah. Somebody's watching the shit. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, man, salute to fucking all the OnlyFans girls out there, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we support the movement, you know what I mean? And, and, and yeah, salute to OnlyFans, I guess. Does that mean when YG comes out, he's still going to do his? That never fucking happened, man. <laughs> yep. That was Cap, man. I, I, I just can't see him doing it, man. I can. He's a dirt bag in his raps, fam. If you listen to him, I, I can see it. Yeah, but like, and and before we get off of this, like, I don't think Toronto mans are, are 
open enough to be like, like you see how Tiger has a whole OnlyFans. Yeah. He's just knocking down bare things on his thing, from what I heard, right? Like American guys will do that shit. I th- <laughs> Canadian or Toronto mans are like, you're too uptight for that, fam. Yeah, fast. Toronto mans don't even want to take their full pants off when they're getting head and shit. Like it's so yeah. weird. Yeah, I think this is weird, bro. Yeah, y'all need hugs. You know what I'm saying? There was, Actually, no, you don't need hugs in this case. There was one thing, even before we get to the music, I wanted to discuss quick, fast. Okay. Where, and I, I kind of brought it up on the live stream earlier, but I was like busting jokes and shit. Where do Toronto drill hood niggas, like, like the steppers, right? Where do they pine things? <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> Where they no, you, you got to understand, there's levels to this shit, right? <laughs> Because if you're really living that life and you're worried about setup things and all oh, types of yeah, things. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is kind of sparked off of a, a post that I seen on, I think it was the Hood 6, okay? Let me just double check to make sure. And it was a, and it was like a, a, a taping of this girl offering money to a, a next man for a next man's address and all type of thing, right? Jeez. It's real sticky <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? And it was like, I'll, I'll play it. They're not coming for us. Toronto, <laughs> guys. Let me see if this will fucking play. Oh, let's start again. Um, how much? Like, I'm literally offering you money for TT's ID. Like, how much do you want? How much you have? Now, how much you have? Ten. My niggas out of this. Me and Blanca out of this. Oh God, I would. Put on your mom's life, you would. On my mom's life. I don't Blanc- know what do you agree with this? Yeah. Right? So okay, they go on on back and forth, right? and she's like, you know, say say word, say word, you know, on your mom, blah, blah blah blah. You know what I'm saying? And so it got me to thinking, like, there's some shisty ass chicks out there. So if you're really in that life, you're deep in now, right? Where are you pining the things? You can't bring them to your yard. Yeah. Right. Even going to the telly can be sticky because you don't know who's waiting for you at the telly. Tell us. Has be a tell us. To, uh, you know, in the whip. I'm a whip man. We're doing it right in the whip. I I'm, mean, you could do it here, here's, here's the thing, too. You have to more, uh, uh, like, watch the shorties. Yeah. So you got to watch how a shorty, like, her interactions when she comes into the whip with you. So if she's coming into the whip with you and she's like... She's just in her phone. She's not really paying you too much mind. It's already something's off. Especially if you already know it's a fuck thing. But it's too late at that point. It's not, though. You could drop her off or you could, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. It's hard because I I ain't a stepper, so I can't talk. I'm a dirtbag, so I'm going to fuck you wherever the fuck I want. Like, at that moment. (laughs) But I'm more, especially if it's a thing I don't know or we just met. she She has to earn her way up to, like, a base. I'm yeah, not like just I've bringing you things, to a base I, to I, smash. Like, man. I've pined things in my yard for years. Yeah. Right? But, like, I'm not on the on road like that. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, real step of life. Mm. So, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And even that, I worry. But, but that's what well, I'm saying. I've worried. Hold on. So, you let Eddie random in the, Eddie, Eddie Not any random. But, that's, what, but that's, that's the point. You don't let any and anything in your yard. Like, if you know a thing for years, you just know how she rolls, yeah, you can allow her in. But mm. even certain girls, I... Like from before, if I'm starting to fuck with them again, I'm not allowing them because I just know the niggas that they hang around. And there's just certain girls you just know you just don't bring up. But going back to what you're saying though, the smash, I'm smashing them in the whip. All right, Airbnb. Or, but um, most, I feel like most steppers will probably just buy it because one, like it's always a random person. Like you don't know who who you're coming to first. Back. The gal yeah. don't know who you're coming to. So if you're buying, if you're buying pum pum. They're coming, and then that's when they see you. And then it's not like you're setting up someone already. It's like, all yeah. right, let me just get my money. And, you yeah, know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. They so can get it's more, off yeah. And, no, because and, and I feel like and that was where I was kind of getting to at the end of this road, right? I feel like that's the only other solution. What? You got to buy, you gotta buy you gotta pokes, fam. So they don't know who they're coming to. to yeah. They see you and they're like, yeah. all right, let me just. Right? Because like, yo, I see even enough music videos, like, the, like some, you know, I'm not going to say any specific names, but some of the music videos have bear gal in them. And there's some baddies, they're big ass strippers and all that type of shit. And you know, some gals who are out there doing, you know, working girls and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. 
right? So th- when the man them really want to fucking pine and they're really like, they got a lot of different situations they're dealing with, what do you got to do? You know what I'm saying? So to, get, to even get one of them gal that might use, might see in the music videos, they might be dangerous, fam. Mm. But it depends, like... It depends because a lot of them work for agencies and shit. Yeah, they know? work for agencies. So they don't so. want to put themselves in yeah, that position so. of set up. You got to be a real, like, real stepper that everybody wants <laughs> for, like, you know, like, to be that paranoid about any girl. Like, I feel like... That's crazy though. Y'all don't be setting up niggas like that. They don't that, be though. setting up niggas yeah, like that. Yeah, it's it's so. not as it's, big as people think. Yeah, yeah. Like I wanna see once every two months a girl is setting up a man. <laughs> if that. Nah, they don't even if that, 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 that. if that. no, fam, I don't even think the gal them are not because you gotta remember too, a lot of gal them too are scared. Yeah, they're I not think that shit happens more in the States than it does over yeah. here, fam. I'm talking about for here and the States. I feel like it's like accident, like by accident. Okay, like, actually, no, let's keep it here. I feel like it's by accident, like, you know, like you're pining a thing and then the girl's probably on a man story and then I'm like, a lie, you're, you're following that guy? No, but and then you there's know there's other pressing. levels too. It might not be a set up thing in the beginning, but you and the girl fall out and now she's I like, fuck, fuck you, fuck nigga. You. Uh. I ain't never coming back to your crib anyway, but I know you got it because when we were laying up, you used to fucking be bragging to me, showing me all the money, the stacks you got and Ray Tay Tay, and now you want to go fuck all these other bitches? Huh? A lot of times That's what it is Yeah that's what it it's is It's not even yeah. more of a setup uh, yeah, it's, it, it's, it is a setup In that case they, But it's more That's where it leads from It's just yeah. like Yo so, you were fucking With the girl Yeah and then she And then, yeah, and then, and then, and then you right. deal with her wrong You're and right And that's you're right. when she gives you up You're right but yeah. more, You have to like, think about that she gives, she gives up where you park You know what I mean Yeah she'll give up Your hangout it's spots right. Or something she'll give up Yeah that nigga ch- she, And she's like <laughs> She might not even do it Like indirectly She might just be like Yeah that nigga chills On da 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 Every Thursday He goes there at da 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 dawn he thinks he's so fucking yeah, I'm hard seeing? yeah yeah he yeah. goes in there late just to make everybody oh yeah okay yeah niggas and then y'all yeah, them fix up if you're then niggas, yeah just probably just like r.i.p houdini there's like that situation like you know you just a gal just give up the drop and you have man sitting three hours waiting for it. you're done to fall downstairs and they know exactly where you park or whatever you're going into and then they boom I mean, it's yeah. You're, no, it's, it's well. Salute to all the man them out there who are. are not, I don't want to say that they're doing all that fuckery, but like, shit, man. Like, if you're le- le- if you're dealing with that life, man, like, you got a lot of different obstacles that other people don't got to worry about. Maybe you might want to change up some of your life. But yeah. that's why they tell you like that. That lifestyle is, you know, it comes with the good and the bad, and mm-hmm. the fast money. But everything else, the the negative is way worse than if you're yeah. working a nine to five. If you're just trying to get it right, so. You got all this chains, all this dough, but you have to buy the pum pum because it's just not safe just to have a girlfriend and go eat dinner we somewhere. Don't have to. Well, but it's a it's, it's a safer, safer choice. It's a safer choice. I think. Hey, fuck! It's a safer choice for a, a regular guy that don't do nine. That's in a nine to five too. It, it's safer for him to go buy pum pum than to go fuck a random thing, and then that thing gets feelings, and then. You know, you get your relationship, Marshall. Yeah, yeah but she's not gonna have his door kicked off. Fam. You, you never know. For what? His credit cards? Well, maybe. Exactly. If a, if a nigga doesn't make in a nine to five and he's making yeah. money, of course they're gonna more want to kick off his door because they're like, oh, he doesn't have guns and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, Brad, look out for them hood chicks, okay? Yeah. Bro. If she got a big tattoo along the side of her leg, don't let her know where the spot is. <laughs> if she got the two paw prints in the titties. Leave her alone. <laughs> leave her alone, fam. But yeah, man, let's get to some music, man. I'm looking at some funny fucking text messages. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh, shout well, yeah, out. Top six, top six. Shout out, <laughs> shout, no, no, really quick. Shout out, man, like Chefy though. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> top six music videos in Canada this week. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the comic gang. They came out super duper strong. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. Nice, Stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, everything has been picked by the people except for number six on the list. That's just based on the YouTube numbers. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it came out strong, but not super strong. Mm-hmm. Let me retract that. All right. But I got to be real with the people now. What happened now? I'm going to be real with the people. I've had a fucked up week. So I haven't seen all the music videos. So this will be my first time watching the videos. And I think that's a little bit better. I think we should start doing I think that. We, we watched most of them. Yeah, we, we did. watched we watched some of them. I didn't watch all of them though. I watched all of them. Friday, but I think maybe in the future we should just actually really review these and just we should like the YouTube audience doesn't have to. 
it is suck for the, the the YouTube audience a little bit, but we can actually review it as we see them. So it's not like, oh, we watched it, we're reviewing it. We're just reviewing it real time. But yeah, you my know. apologies. <laughs> we can make it happen. Yeah. We can make some little engineering magic. But number six, Boulevard Biz featuring 100 FTO. Jeez. No, my blood has got my back. Vice versa, yeah, we the same. Bopping on your block. Blue tips all up in. It sounded like the Back in Blood remix. Yeah. Mm, that's a whole fact. Uh, this is hard. So I can't went, These guys went hard, though. Yeah, the video is as a... An Besides the op piece, and they, this goes hard. And I like how they're icy and stuff. We always say this. Like, these guys, this is why we don't want you guys to talk about the op shit, because y'all niggas can rap. Yeah. So if you can not rap about the op shit, you know what I'm saying? It could be good. But I, I like the fact that it, it was even, like, the music video. You see the fire in the back. Like, yeah. it wasn't your... Everyday hood man music video kind of thing. So I like yeah. that. I like that. I like that shot there where mans are like looking down at the camera, but they're in a circle. Mm. That like brings me back to the nineties. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. The old heads out there. I might be wrong, but I think that's the field they were trying to go for it. Well, possibly. Maybe one one two of their older brothers put them on to the game. I think I seen Jay Neat and a few other the wasps back there too. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people in this video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, they like showed them. up. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But yeah, it's the, the the track, the, the they ride the beat nice and stuff like that. But I, you know, I do agree with y'all, and not with the too much of the oppy oppy. You know what I'm saying? The oppy oppy thing. Let's just see what these guys can do. Um, you know, fuck all that oppy shit. But I just want to see if they can be, um stay consistent. You know what I'm saying? We've mm-hmm. we've been seeing 100 a lot um all over the uh the gram. So I want to just see if musically, if he can stay consistent, put out song. Without a gal tune, you know what I'm saying, or just be creative if you're if you're just gonna be doing you know the the very aggressive music. I'll say that just to kind of switch it up a bit. So let's try this. Um, and this is not just for them. This is for all Everybody, the rappers yeah. out there who who are pushing that edge when it comes to the oppie shit. Let's do a one month no op music challenge. Good luck. <laughs> Corny alert. <laughs> no, one month. No op music. Let's see who gets the most streams. <laughs> I do. I'll do you one better, but you know, this is one month not promote one oppy music. Ooh. So you're saying that even if the people pick it, don't do it, and it has, and 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 we listen, and it got op shit in it, it gets cut off the list. It gets cut off the list for Ooh, one month. That might get sticky. We do a one month where it's just like, yo. I, not even apologies but we're just promoting positive music for just one month positive music month mm. or just music that doesn't have to do with anybody killing somebody or dissing somebody if it's an actual diss and it's a music back and forth yeah, cool yeah. but if you're like really have a problem with niggas and you're talking about or smoking well, no you know what it just, is you, we know the smoking on the dead and mentioning yeah. dead that's the main part because everybody's always had ops forever you know what i'm saying rap music has always been like especially when it comes from the street you, people have talked about I'm going to shoot you in the head and it's do this true. and do that yeah. I've said that a million times in my own rhymes but I don't you know one thing that's new is bringing up dead people that, yes the whole bringing up dead people let's just not promote it mm-hmm. and the, and the I'm with that I'm with that we, we, we'll not make this decision now on camera but we'll talk about it yeah you know what I'm saying yeah man yeah man yeah man but yeah man big up to fucking boulevard biz big up to 100 on this video right here number six in canada this week you know what i mean big fucking tune but number five playboy mk patience good guy gang yeah, man. Darkness. <laughs> Should have never gave these niggas money. Darkness. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm going with this as my 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 video and, and song of the week. Wow. I feel in a positive shit, fam. I, I feel like when these niggas can give me, sorry, when these guys can give me just positive music and something different, I can rock with it, fam. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, It gave me the vibe of last week's vibe. Not really a West Coast vibe, but like just different feel for yeah, it yeah yeah drama dre yeah drama dre big up yourself but yeah um <laughs> the ending of the music video was a little bit corny though because <laughs> if the man am, if, if, if I'm, I'm spoiler alert if the man am really did rat like that you guys are not dealing with him like that yeah 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 there's a little scene in but the it's, end. It, it's positive it's Listen, positive you know what i'm saying not in don't actually get snitches with these guys they, they not in 21 20, 20, go away <laughs> but no okay. snitches for you just go away 
Where is this, man? Can somebody tell us where this music video is? You know what? Actually, let me bring it back MK. one second because I might be able to tell you right now from when I see the cars. Because I'm assuming Montreal. But you can't see the plates. I like, can't the see the front. It, the way ah. they flipped it was proper. Like, it was great timing, guys. Yeah, because if I could see that they had no front plate on the car, then it's definitely more evidence that it could be Montreal. They seem Toronto. They seem Toronto, but I could be wrong. No, the buildings are too fucking low rise for Toronto. You think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless they're like in the boroughs or something like that. <laughs> hey, watch them. What? Hey, dancing hey, gang, bro. Hey, That's dance. how you know they're a good guy gang. Twins. <laughs> you know he's a baller when he's in the socks and and. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, listen, I ain't mad at this crew, and it's no diss. We're not making fun or anything like that. Like, you know, it's a positive change to see just man them that don't look like they're, but like they look like they, you know, they have their real life situations, but they don't yes. look like you know, super over threatening. They're dressed accordingly to the weather. <laughs> okay, it's fucking hot outside, so man them are wearing shorts and whatever, whatever. They're not wearing fucking fits with a fucking um hoodie and the fucking dockers and the fucking mask and everything like <laughs> it's just good to just just see brightness. You know what I'm saying? You're seeing yeah. lights, you're seeing a man I'm on top of the rooftop. You haven't seen yeah. a video like that in a while. The man I'm just dancing, they're enjoying themselves, bro. Like yeah. I've been seeing, like enjoy yourselves a little bit more, guys. Yeah, man, we like it, we like it. But yeah, man, big up to play. Oh, Gucci, you, you got anything on this? Yeah, I like it. I, I like I like this track. Still, you know, I like the video too as well. You know, it's mm. good vibes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Big salute to oh. fucking Playboy MK. You know what I'm saying? Number five in the in the in the, in the country this week, but number five, Jody, Navy Seal. <laughs> Jody. I'm gonna give you guys off the top my opinion. I'm getting like homeless vibe from this guy. <laughs> Why would you say it? <laughs> no disrespect, but like, just the way that he's moving in this video, he just looks very reckless and just by himself in front of this place, bro. He's got the bottle, he's smoking bare fucking deaderets, AKA cigarettes. Massive deaderets. And like, He's sounding like everything is all blessed, but he doesn't look like he's up on his luck right now, fam. You know, you um, big up Raph Nora. He's giving me that um, it's that kind of this different emo vibe. Yeah, I think it's an like emo vibe. I like the fact that too is just like it just seems like it's here by himself. He healed up the one person that came true. He, he he's by the brick. <laughs> you know I'm saying, shout out the brick. Shout out the brick. I don't yeah. know who buys stuff from the brick anymore, but I think that's like um, maybe another message for something else. Who knows? Hey. But yeah, <laughs> I like the song though. The man can spit though. I'll give him that. Like he he can definitely rap. Yeah, but like, but the man's still giving you a little bit of homeless vibes. Uh, it's just because <laughs> he's just by himself, like so dolo. You know, homeless, you know, homeless people are uh, not by themselves, right? <laughs> like it just seems like a lonely know. life, though. <laughs> <laughs> Let him guess. Let him guess. Let him guess. But you know my dudes is lurking. Right? Like he's, he's saying the, the the stuff, right? <laughs> His niggas is lurking. He's, he's doing his thing or whatever, but like it's not matching the, the video. Why is he the dude lurking? Like it doesn't look like he's ready to go get a whip right now, fam. <laughs> but salute to you, um Jody. He's been on the list. It's not the first fucking time. Yeah, Jody's been doing his thing. I believe he's from Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. I, th- this is why I'm saying all this shit because he's has other videos where he's not doing this. You know what I'm saying? He might. This might be intentional. You know what I'm saying? Mm, maybe it's just a, like, you know how I look at it? The designer video from maybe last week or the week before with Roni. Mm. Like that video didn't match the fucking song. Yeah. That song should have had gal in it. They should have yeah. been bubbling up. He was just in the basement rapping, going into the thing. You're like, you know what I'm saying? I think this is maybe just a throwaway track for him that and he was just he, like, fuck, let me just go in front of the brick. Yeah, and if he was homeless, he wouldn't be able to afford a music video. So yeah. like, Facts. Kind of, yeah. And he wouldn't I'm be saying. in front of the brick. The He'd brick. Be <laughs> under the bridge. Watch how he's just he's making it rain. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, man, big up to Jody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Doing his goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? He's having a it good old time by himself. No, like he's supposed to burn the twenty in the end, and then he's like, "No, <laughs> yeah, burn that. I kind of need that still." <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. No Would more. you ever burn money before? No, burning money fast. 
Who do I look like? What do I look like? Um, don't, don't, don't leave the don't leave the fucking Bali right there, fam. As the Thomas came to mind, there was another one. Who's another person that they keep on calling you every time? Um, Isaiah Thomas. Um, um, fabulous. Fabulous. F A B O L O. I'm off in the The Gucci, aka the son of Supercat, yo. Holy. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, man, big up to Jody, man. Number four in the fucking country this week. We're in the top three right now, though. You know what I'm saying? Number three, Gaza 235 featuring 235 RLS, Wah Wah West. Moving this way because I'm all the way. The Wild Wild West. Not the same song though. Um Man them are, 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 are oh the Supreme Bag. Okay. So Y'all them. This tune, these guys right here, I, I I'm liking the tune, but not and it's not, not a but because it's not a bad thing. They're dropping some bars that were there's some old school references in there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be disrespectful, but my boy looked like that what the uh, F- FB FB. I, that's for when I first seen him. And no disrespect to you, homie. When I first seen him, I was like, oh shit, Ho- homie's home. Okay. Can't be pulling out fives and things when you have these guys rolling out racks of twenties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hard out here. See, this is what I was talking about. Just to circle back to our conversation before about the steppers. He said he don't do dates. He's a real something, something. He don't do dates, right? Because yeah. he has to show her like, yo, I'm, so, I'm too real. I can't even do the dates with you, shorty. But the man don't do dates. If you're a stepper like that, you don't see, you don't see a stepper in freaking keg <laughs> or in fucking like One steak and a cheesecake or something. That's a takeout thing. You know what I'm saying? They sitting don't on a balcony, just chilling. Like, sitting on a patio. <laughs> With the black, all black Nike fucking fit. You know can't what I'm saying? Can't do that. Can't do that. No? Sweating? Gucci, can you do that? No, he definitely can't do that, bro. That's what I'm saying. That can't do this. You're going to get caught slipping. You don't unless, see steppers taking... You don't see... Fam, let's unless you're moving like the president, you know, you have the man them out there watching while you're on a date. Like, you have to move like a real... <laughs> you're at the movie theater. Would you like extra butter on your popcorn, babe? <laughs> it's not happening, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> so that's why. Man said, um, I think that must be Gaza 235. He said... I'm a real stepper. I don't do dates. You know I like saying? this. I like this song. I like the vibe. I like the fact that they made sure they had the one shot in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like how Madam keep. Oh, hold on. Let me get. The, let me get this text off real quick. He's he, in the moment, fam. He even the way he turned. He turned correctly. I'm telling you, that was more. I, I hope he did it in one take, but I feel like he did it in maybe two or three. Is there only one girl back there? I think there might be more than one. No. I mean, there's only. Well, I just like the main shot us. Yeah, because yeah, she's a darkie. Yeah, yeah. And one thing I'll also give them the use of their space because it's not like they're in some fucking mansion or something like that. You know what I mean? But the way that they shot the the, 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 the cameraman shooting the different angles of what they're using, mm. he's making the scenery look hotter than it actually really is. Facts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I rate that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like the energy on this, you know, on this video stuff. And I like, I like the gal. I like the shocky. Yo, Gaza. Yo, just hit up Gucci in the DM. You know what I mean? Swing her IG to me. You already know. Clear (laughs) Studio 6. Let's go. But yeah, man. Nah, this is. I like like this track too as well. And I like how they floss. And this is a good video. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Big up to 235. um, Sorry, Gaza 235 as well as 235 RLS. Fucking big tune. The people have spoken. Hey, J Slap. Uh, oh, the, the the video director. The director yeah, 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 yeah. Salute to you, homie. But number two, Ace, throw away. Her body's a castle. I could have a Camelot. Mm-hmm. I remember that this ain't really high. Throw away the back. Now this is one of the ones that you might have not um, seen. Huh. So for the YouTube audience, I'm gonna um, run some of the music. You all aren't gonna be able to hear the music, but sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're reviewing in real time. Hey, yeah. Now this guy, I think he has like. 
His accent is kind of different. Yeah. And salute to all the people who are in the whatchamacallit audience. Oh, the... he just switched it up. He didn't even laugh to them. She loved him. Hey, 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 hey. See, the, this music matches the music video now. On some type of train or something? I don't know. I'm feeling the black and red, though. And Ooh. I guess because he's wearing like the white and black. I'm rocking with this. And he got some Chinese steppers. Y'all didn't catch the Chinese steppers? Yeah, the triads with him. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. That's the first. I've never seen like, a, a lot. Like, the man and are just like a whole bunch of Chinese guys and just one black guy. Like, whoa. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, you know who this is? Who? Ace. Um, always something. He's been on the countdown multiple, multiple times. times. He's had number one, like maybe three, t- uh, two times now. Eh? Yeah, he's working. Five thousand views since August twentieth. And that's and that's um. Oh, my lady. Yeah. 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 She me crazy. Yeah, so you get the idea of like the, the tune itself, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm feeling that one still. I, I'm liking the music video. The red, um, like I said, the red and black, the red and white. They got triads covering their eyes and shit like that. Yeah. This, this is dope. It's something different. Um, creative. This is what we asked for, man. Well, this is what I asked for. Like, I, I, I appreciate this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I appreciate the hell out of this. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What do you think, Gooch? I'm not really feeling this one still. I'm not going to lie. And the video's too dark. The video's too dark for me, you know? But I agree with I that. See, I see where he's coming, you know? But it, it didn't have that much energy for me. Like, you know, like it wasn't really like... I don't know if the beat, it was the beat or whatever it was. It was just not like it wasn't... Do you walk? It wasn't really hitting for me like that. Mm, but right? no, it's a good trap. But for me, like... Not your style. Yeah, it's like, I think that's what it is. It, it, the, the style of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I do agree with you with the lighting thing. Like, I like where they're going with it. Like, man's on a fucking crane, like on a on a on a fucking construction thing. Mm-hmm. But like, if they just made it just a little bit more light, so you can <laughs> see like more faces, faces like the, like the shorter yes, that he's yes, with, so. I can't see your face. You know? No, what no, I'm no, I agree with that. No, I agree with that. I agree with that. So. Yeah, brighten up the face, them just a little bit, just from like our nerdy technical side. You know, we're we're video guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, like all three of us, fucking, we're video guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I couldn't see nothing, bro. You know what I mean? You're gonna get you're gonna get some little bit of one, two technical nerdy fucking things <laughs> on top of that. You know what I'm saying? Oh well, yeah, big man, up Ace. big up Ace, fucking number two in the country this week. Comment gang strong, but number one. What? But one, AP or ACP low, go. Locked out, still playing ball in the field with my Glock out. Black lives matter, kill a nigga, push the top out. Nigga came to war with a stick and pull him. Go. Um, he was, he was <coughs> num- number one last week, no? Yes, sir. Bumbara. Him and Mr. Bucky, bro. <laughs> That's why the comic gang came out super strong. I was just seeing ACP. I was like, wait a minute, am I catching deja vu right now? So, but correct me if I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. This is the first time back to back one it um one to one for this year. No, because like C Ro and all the men be doing back to back, back to back all the time. But not, no, no, no. I'm seeing weak, my nigga. He was they were number one last week. Yeah, but then other then, men have had number one and drop a video next year. This year though? No. I, I don't believe back. so. I think he's the only person that did it this year where he was number one this week mm-hmm. and he was number one the week after. I could be wrong. Message me if you guys know in the comment me in the DMs or whatever. But this yeah. that's dope though. Somebody else go do the research because I don't want to go. Do that's that. why I said some. That's why somebody commented in the, in yeah, the DMs. Yeah. Let me know in the DMs. <laughs> yeah, go do that dick for us, please. But shout out please. ACP Low, man. Yeah, man. He he's the one who was on verse two last week with the fucking mask. The lyrical, the more lyrical of the two. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'll play a little bit of it for you. This nigga said Black Lives Matter. <laughs> and then, he started, then he proceeds to start shooting niggas. <laughs> oh, I love rap music. 
in that bank. What? Free my dogs all in that cage. Talk to him. He's a deep one of miracle guys. You know what I'm saying? Let's go a little bit. Still flip packs on go. Hey. Me on the strip with a stick on go. Watch so, you. Is the you. wine? Yeah, what, man. Was that white wine? Yo, man's are my children, fam. <laughs> and and they're over there by the fucking the Blue Jays Stadium and shit like that. You know, man, let me go outside, fam. Yeah, bro. It's not just only in the trap and shit like that. Nigga just probably just finished going to the Blue Jays game. <laughs> Here's the thing, too. He went, to he went with a regular us. Of course, normie, normie, extra normie girl. No, 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 no. I wasn't ta talking about the mask. Cause the last time, <laughs> I'm still on that. <laughs> <laughs> remember the last time? What mask did he have? Gucci. Remember we were saying the mask that he had the freaking was it Scorpion or zero? something? Yeah, yeah, the zero. No, the no scorpion. he the had scorpion. this guy in the last music video he had the Scorpion mask. Now yeah. he just went the, the, with the regular ass. Uh, Cause he's going to the game with a shotty. Mm. You can't be wearing the fucking Mortal Kombat yeah. mask to the game. But Shorty's gonna be like, "Yo, this is who I'm going out with." Yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. Halloween. Yeah. yeah, so he did this. He did this right before he went to the the thing with the shot. Yeah, video fair. before that. All right, let me shoot this video real quick, and I'm gonna go and I got. See, you. he's on the phone with her now. Just pull up. I'm gonna pull be doing a video just now. But where is she though? She's on the side, fam. <laughs> she can't get on camera. She can't get on camera. She's not allowed on camera. That's a normie, fam. I'm steppers, talking. Steppers don't allow, allow the shotties on camera. No, no, they let they allow certain ones. Certain. But your your normies. No, um, yeah. You know what I mean by normie? Normal gal. Yeah, the normal gal. They're, they're right? in the street. They don't do nothing. They don't just know nothing. Stand off to the side. She don't even know he raps. Yeah, yeah. She, she just, probably just found out today. She learned something new. But yeah, I'm a big up to ACP low. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And yeah, doing this fucking thing on the tune, back to back, fucking. You know, number one, one, two weeks in a row, my G. So, salute Speak to you, yourself. man. Um, but let's get to these honorable mentions here. Um, you got your I don't I know, shit in front of you, my G. Ready? Like you're scared. <laughs> honorable mentions this week: the Young Driller, Mop, Driller. Biz Loke, Freak Hoes, Kem, Five Blocks, Tizzy Stacks, right here. Body. King Daps, Artist, Lola Buns, Slim Fit, Ripper, Realize, Outsider, We Got It, featuring Goo. A hotline twist, the crossy neck, who's next? I got a skyline fist, bitch. The problem is. Dijor, Streets Too Hot, Jordan Rhymes, Confess, One Don, Gunman. Nightmare thoughts covered. Grease one eight five pull up. Black boy Twitch John C Bankroll and keep six solid lifestyle. Lifestyle. Revy and Zogod in this biatch. Spang Square outside. Two seaters fit four inside. Two heaters they coincide. Like two Gs both thrown inside and hit your body to the same. Law featuring Slim De Niro, two time girl. Campo, truthfully, the visit, the vision, and Ty Dolla Sign memories by Lena Savior. I don't know why Friday does this to me. And it, Friday, just do it, please. The last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so last two is um, Bilna Souvenir. <laughs> and last one is Ikajia One. Lia, compte, um, compartiment. I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> it's like some complicated I'm French like, word. What? Sure. Compartiment. Com compartment. Listen, I failed French, eh? Oh, compartiment. I did not go to French compartment. class. Compartment. It was a compartment. My bad. I had, to, I had to say it out phonetically in, in French and put it back into English in my brain. Anyhow, <laughs> smiley. <laughs> Mr. Buyer, bye. He is doing a lot of fucking big things right now. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's got the fucking track on the billboard. Um, there was something I was seeing him doing on, um, what was it? Fucking, oh, he got a check mark, finally. Oh, did he? Yes. I know we were talking about that. Okay, and this thing here. Um, I want to be known. I want to be in my song. Huh? What is it? Oh, Rick Ross was 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 oh, yeah. he, he was Rick Ross, like, uh, in his stories. Him and fucking the yes, boss yes, chilling yes, together. Yes, yes, this out okay, here. right. He's this is in my zone. Zone. up rock, right? This is him doing a live performance. <laughs> right? Shirt yeah. off, shorty. You know? <laughs> 
Talk to me. I don't like that. You didn't like this? I didn't like that. What? <laughs> she won't be known. That was it. I'm shocked. I wasn't a fan of that. I'm gonna be. Re- I'm a fan of Smiley. Give me some but blocks. I'm gonna kill my home. But you're the one who wanted me to take off his shirt. When- <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind if you I'm going to give you the Instagram phrase what's going on right now Talk nah he was tweaking Smiley was tweaking on this one fam he was nah, tweaking. He was tweaking. <laughs> you see it all on the Gucci comments save that. Gucci save that one okay so because this, this is from a few days ago <gasps> so when you guys first seen this that's what the first two reactions you guys had <laughs> I'm confused <laughs> I love Smiley fam but it was just like this oh, one, you, you this were, one's you're an me, <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" Niggas is looking it, at their phone like, you know what it is? It, it just feels it. like, you know, when you just try to take people out of their element and they're just not comfortable. It just, to me, I could be totally off. Smiley could have just really killed it. Yeah, and just be me. My opinion, I just felt like they just took him out of his element. He just probably wasn't even feeling it that day. Probably had like a, a freaking two hour workout. You know what I'm saying? Injured his hamstring. I don't know. Look at his free spray. <laughs> He's just even there. He looks vexed. He just looks cheesed. But okay, so you guys, Yikes. what what did what about this? Did don't you like before we move on and give the man his fucking flowers? Because I'm gonna give him his flowers. I'm, I'm, the man is, I'm on the way to giving the man his flowers. This. I'm like, this was dope. You guys are like, it's just this. It's just this performance. It's yeah. just this performance. Everything okay. else he's been doing, he's been killing it. Okay. Yeah, he, killing he it. didn't even perform today too, like on a big stage. Like, yeah, yeah, they had something like he was on like that one, the last picture he has up there. Mm. It looked like he was doing something big. And two, giving you guys an exclusive right here. Apparently, Smiley just finished filming over the top in Buffalo. Ooh. Good night. I'm done. <laughs> Whoa. And the boy was in the building. Oh. Who? God. Right. Right. Yo, for Smiley. I said I said this before. Smiley's gone, but now he's super gone. Shout out to Source. If, if you're capping, you're gonna cheese me. A music <laughs> video, but yo, but uh, isn't but that a must? A music video. There's a music video it's out over. there in Buffalo that he filmed with Damn, Drake. A man can't even get a verse with Drake, and he's getting a verse plus music video. Yeah, God, Smiley is Smiley. gone, like, bro. Everybody that's chilling with Smiley, regardless, yo, even if he does or not, me, holla at me, at me, because I know you guys are gone too. I think mm. regardless of if he's if he does it or not, I think him just being around Ross, I think like Drake has already positioned him and put him in a position where he can't lose, fam. He just can't lose, bro. No matter what he does. And like for stuff like this, it's to me, like even me not liking his performance is not a big deal because Jay-Z is my favorite artist. And I will tell you, Jay-Z is one of the worst performers. The worst performers of all time. (laughs) He used to be. He used to be. No, no, no. He's, He's good, but he's not fam. His performance... Jigga what? This side. Jigga yeah. who? Yeah, has to be stiff as fuck, Pod. This side's doing better. Nah, fam. You got to do better than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah. crazy. You just said he... Oh, music video on the way? Oh, my god. Yeah, music oh video on the way. Go to Damn. You heard, it's a rap. Because Drake it killed that track. So. You heard it here first. I'll show you all something it, else that the man did. Watch this here. Look at this. Okay. Man came from trapping... Okay, and let me put it up on my screen here so I can read the fuck. Man came from trapping to the nat, um, trapping at nats, right? Natalie's. You know what I'm saying? Look at this fucking man's performing in front of mad people, fam. I think this is just a. It's a message for some of the people that are doing music and feel like yo, you have to do art music. You don't. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This he he's a perfect example that that he's not talking about ops or anything. And I know we kill this whole narrative, but it's just something that we I want the young people just see, like, yo, just do your shit, fam. Just be you, fam. Like, yeah. be cool, be be fun, be be vibrant. Just have fun, enjoy life. The man bought a house, like you Facts. know what I'm saying? He's actually living life, fam. Like, enjoy that shit and look where he is now. Yeah. So here's where I have a problem. American media, okay, and I respect a lot of the people who I'm going to be sending this message to, okay? So it's not no aiming at y'all head or anything like that. But I'm just fucking disappointed, okay? All of the different media outlets that I watch, you know what I'm saying? And I'll, I'll name them out. Hot 97, Breakfast Club, 
um, when I listen to Joe Button podcast, when I listen to a lot of different outlets that talk about music, that talk about music regularly. I heard somebody say, yo, I don't know if it was Hot 97 or what I was, what I was listening to, but they were like, yo, that new track with, with um, Trippy Red f- featuring Drake, yes. Yeah, so, and you know, Chu say it's been a long time since we got a Drake verse. What? Did you guys just not hear the song that came out less than a month ago that's on fire right now? Yeah, because he did it with a Toronto artist Friday. I well, this is the pro- no, but that's what I'm saying. That's not acceptable, okay? Joe Button is a big, big Drake fan. He's, he's a self-proclaimed, okay. he, and he acted like the song never happened. Because you wanna know the problem is? The problem, and no offense to Smiley and Presser and all the other guys, mm-hmm. they run over there, fam, and they have to, yes, Press is a little bit different. I'm not going to get into it. But mm. some of these artists, they run over there. And shout out to Smiley because he has done a We Love Hip Hop interview. Yep. But I feel like they need to come back and do more media stuff over here to make the media bigger where you don't care if the Americans are talking about you or not. Mm-hmm. And that becomes the problem because, like I'm telling you, the Americans are not going to want to start promoting Canadian artists. Well, fuck, bro. They, don't, they barely do it because why? Why do we want to let more of these guys in? We can barely get ours buzzing. Yeah. Ours barely work anymore. So why do we want to let these guys from across the border that make amazing music, look what they're doing to Bieber. They're just trying to shut him down. Yeah. Yes, he does some questionable shit, but every chance they get, they'll shut him down. He's trying to do black people music. He's jumping on Essence, the, the, the Essence track. Nah, fam, he's got to leave that alone. Tory Lanez. You're not even supposed to mention his name around media. Like, yeah, even yeah, before yeah. the Meg shit, he was still putting out some of the uh, best music and people still weren't giving him credit, fam. Well, yeah. yeah. We can go on the, the, the weekend with Grammys. Like, they do not want a Canadian Toronto artists to make it. The yeah. prob- and the problem is, too, the only way we can make it is go over there. Yeah, and, like, not only just us, like, UK, anywhere, like, they, they'll be big in their own country and still be making money, you know, especially other countries, they'll be make they'll be good, good financially. But to get to that great status, they don't want they it. need to have to go to the States, right? So even like Ad- uh, Adele, she was great in the, in the UK, but she didn't blow up, blow up, blow up until people started hearing her in the States. But look what they did to her in the States. She's fat, she's this, she's that. Yeah. Fam, it's like it, it goes but it's like we know it. They only want certain people to to get that shine. Yeah, and they no disrespect to our American fans because we have a lot of people who watch us from the yeah, states. Yeah, big up themselves. You know but that, we're being real. That's how the media works. The yeah. media, the outlets, they're not gonna sit down there and be like, "Yo, Drake's out there helping out these Toronto artists." Yeah, somebody like academics will say it. Yeah, but that's it. You're not gonna hear it anywhere else. Yeah, because like I seen Act played on his on his live stream finally, right? But not right off the top. He wasn't like, oh my God, new Drake verse. Like how, he, yo, the man spazzes, whether it's a, and, and I'm talking not just him. Everybody who's like real Drake fans who are media guys from like the American people I watch, when Drake has a new verse on anybody's shit, they sit there and psychoanalyze it, stop the song four or five times and break it down. I didn't see it one time on any of the programs since the man Ting dropped, fam. Let me ask you a question. And we talk about and, and, and one more thing. Sorry, yeah. Young Blue, fucking when the next there the the, the block boy JB guy. Um, even just the other day, some verse that the um, Brent Fayez. They're sitting there breaking it down. They're okay. skipping man's verse and they're going straight to to Drake. Even if they do that, they haven't even done that, fam. Excluding my boy. No, I'm on three on five. Look alive. Look alive. Block boy JB. Block boy JB. Mm-hmm. The rest of those songs. Are, are better than over the top, my opinion. But the young Brent, blue one, that Brent Fayas tune is. But the Brent, the Brent Fayas suit tune. You have to remember too, that's a remake of another song. One and like that, that song goes hard, fam. But you that's know a what? Goal, and and it's R and B, fam. You know when Drake gets into his R and B back, nah, then, nah, it's nah, different, fam. Nah, Still. nah, you're tweaking. It, over the top, <laughs> over the top, <laughs> over top's way hard. Over the top, so, yeah. But, okay, Syrupy ass R and B songs. I don't know. Okay, but Serpy ass R and B songs is what's working. That's mm-hmm. that's what goes out to the media. The girls like it. This and on the third. Let's be real. Over the top is a good tune, and I, I that's my this is my opinion too. Mm-hmm. O- 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 over the top is not better than an organization. Yeah, but okay. See now you're, we're going away from it because organization is technically something that never came out. Uh, okay, but yeah. this is my point. and and 
let me just say this quick. It's not yeah. about hey. what song is better. <laughs> it's the fact that the man has a stimmy. Everybody who gets the stimmy, whether your song's good or fucking whatever, it's all a matter of opinion when it comes to whose song is better and whatever, whatever. But the stimmy, but you got the stimmy, but the and that's stimmy, all that matters. But the stimmy works with Americans. The stimmy doesn't. It, it works with Canadians to a certain degree. You get on. You get with Ross. You get those things. No, I'm talking but about the Drake mean, stimmy. Yes, but that's what I'm saying. But the Drake stimmy, you get in connection with people. You're mm -hmm. around certain people. You're around certain things. But it doesn't mean the media, because Drake doesn't control. It, it's the same thing when we talk about Eminem. When Eminem does interviews, he only does interviews for certain people because he doesn't control the media like that. Media is different from the music business per se. Mm -hmm. It's in the music business, but just how we control a certain narrative of music or or media of whatever yeah. is it's not how the music business is. You know what I'm saying? Like we just have our opinion. We have who we like or the top six. We just have different things of how we run people would say our narrative of it. And yo, even if they don't like Smiley's verses or they're like kind of thrown off by whatever. Like his style or whatever. Talk about it. No, no, but Drake gave them two slapper verses that they could even been reviewing. Nobody even reviewed yeah. the Drake parts. But that except for like the YouTube fucking react reaction yeah. people. I'm talking about like major influencers in fucking like media. Like they didn't sit there and be like, yo, this new Drake thing, you know, who's he getting at on this one? Like nobody even wondered. No, because they don't. They don't even want Drake there. They even ostracize. Ostrac what is the word? Ostracize. Ostracize the nigga for not writing and shit. Mm -hmm. Like they don't want us there, fam. It doesn't matter how good or it doesn't matter how big of an artist Drake is. Media does not want Toronto to work in the music industry. They don't want it. You, we see what they did to Weekend. Nav is just out there in whatever land. Yeah. Um, Tory Lanez. We can go down the list, bro. They don't want Toronto. Toronto, especially if you come from the city and you go over there. Oh my God, no. Ooh. We don't rock with you guys. That's all it is. Press. Look, Press is going through it right now. Yeah. He's he's dealing with one of the biggest female artists, and look how they're dealing with him. Oh, he's a girl. He's this and that and the yeah. third. They yeah. ain't talking about attachments. Yeah, yeah. The first thing they want to roast him. Yeah. So it sucks, yes, but that's that's at the end of the day, that's what it is. The media don't fuck with us, and this is why we continue to do what we do and we support these guys no matter what. We Facts. have to because nobody else over there, they ain't gonna do it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, man, big salute to fucking Smiley. If Sorry, they ain't gonna show you no love, we gonna show we you gonna some show love. You love. Yeah, you know I get, I get heated yeah. with that shit, bro. No, it's it's annoying, fam. Like I like I follow these platforms. I listen to their shit religiously, and I'm Me like, too. how am I not hearing about this man this whole time, fam? And the song is just gaining traction. It's crazy, bro. The only thing I can say about them is they tweaking. <laughs> nah, man, you're, you're nah, man, you're tweaking. Hey, you guys gotta be tweaking, bro. How you not hear about over the top? How's Joe? No, about, they heard. No, it. they heard, but they don't want to talk. How about you it. not talking about that though? Because but they're gonna talk about it after the music video, though. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think that's what I think that's what it is too. I think when you have an audio, it's totally different <laughs> it, because remember, even the Brent Fayers, like it's a big tune, but mm -hmm. it doesn't have a music video yet. Yeah. So it's kind of just sitting there. So it's just sitting there as audio. So audio is a totally different thing. But when you have, oh, who, who's Drake? And, and it's popping up with millions of views. Who the fuck is Drake in this music video with, with this, yeah. this little small little Indian you? <laughs> yeah, man. Well, big salute to fucking Smiley, man. Keep doing your fucking thing. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're supporting you. We, we were behind you. And make sure to tap into that interview. I see the, the views going up. You know what I'm saying? You think so? I know so. <laughs> um, but yo, let's get to the, the to this break here. Um, we just straight pod in today, so um, look out for the smoke and mirrors. No interview. Um, Biz Loke, Freak House. Uh, the new ones. The new ones. Fresh as crisp as sir. Ah. Is you film this for the man's. In Some chair. We go oh, no, not the fucking dirty version, the clean version of me. Fuck being on some chair shit. Hey. Real, Real quick. Cheese. Then my words, nigga. How you so happy still so done? 
on they serve, nigga. Oh, Lord. I'm the we can't play too much of it, can't man. Can't play too much. No, no, no. <laughs> Let's salute to the boy. Kanye West versus Drake. Oh, smoke and mirrors. Salute. We in this building. Episode 237. Let's fucking go. Um, gutsy guts. Gucci in the building. Gang. Let's fucking do this. Um, Kanye versus Drake. I told you, by the way. What do you mean? I told you so. You told me that the, that the beef wasn't there. I didn't say. Well, I said, you said you I was that. passing along Karen Sybil's message. Karen Sybil's goddamn lie. Well, she said that they they cool. They supposed to have a song together, but nope. I knew that them niggas was still beefing. But here's the thing: man had a back and forth after you heard um, Drake on the Trippy Red record. You know, I guess they leaked some messages that were from a group chat. Yeah, and then he leaked the address that was already public. But the fact that he thought that I guess he was doing something by leaking it, and then he deleted it right after. He also uh, supposedly added Pusha T to the conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My question to y'all is, at this point, does Kanye deserve a death us? Yes. Like if Drake sees him like like a real life, not no musical, not no like fam, like that's my fucking address, fam. I know it's public, but like I know what you were trying to do. Just stand there and take this one death us. I think they need five minutes and, and, you know, just wrap it all and then become friends. Because it's like, they're... (sighs) It seems like they, it's like petty just going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? It's like they can they can hash this out over a conversation. But it seems like Kanye don't want to have that conversation. And, um, I, and Drake don't care to have the conversation. I don't know if it's petty back and forward. Well, I guess it could because Drake it's does petty. take shots at him on songs. But like the man does all this spazzy wild shit, jumps on Twitter. Mm-hmm. It's not the first time that he's had like some kind of spaz out where like he's trying to pull Drake out of like trying to say something like, Fam, I thought you didn't want no smoke with the man from when he was having beef with, with Pusha T. Yeah, well, he's not in a relationship no more. So now he wants all the smoke, right? That's what happens when the girls do. Girls have so so much control when they can tell you what not to. Just go on Twitter and to get, get your feelings off. And you know what I'm saying? Just just express your feelings. Now he's expressing his feelings, how he really feels. He wants smoke with Drake, fam. That's what I'm telling you. The problem is, unfortunately, Drake should be dropping the album, hopefully on my birthday, August 30th, which will never happen because he doesn't drop um, albums on Monday. Mm. But he's waiting till that guy, I'm telling you, he's waiting for Kanye to drop the album because he knows I'm going to drop it on you, fam. I'm going to drop it same time, fam, just to fuck your shit up, fam. That's the play, fam. Kanye's album drops, Drake's album drops an hour after. An hour after he's going, not half hour, six minutes after. Yeah, honestly, I feel like it's something deep. And I feel like Drake probably had Kim Kardashian like just bumping his music. You know what I mean? Around Kanye. Like, I felt like mm. Kanye kind of got a little jet, like, not even a little. He got a I feel like she was jocking Drake because the time when Kanye was with Kim. Drake was blowing up like Drake was the man so imagine if you you have a thing with a man and your shot he has to be bumping her in his music 24 oh 7 probably all arguing with her and she's still bumping him and then he probably Ooh. all message her and then all the youths bumping like yo fam like uh, I wanna God's I don't wanna plan. be with you no more Would fam you get cheese? yo fam God's plan. dog I wanna kick off with you and him yo can <laughs> yeah, time stamp this okay go Play you getting cheese? <laughs> <laughs> the thing about that it's is it, it's it's different, man. Like, ah, you, it I'm can't, getting cheese. It, it can't you can't get cheese, bro. Time step again. <laughs> if she's coming home and, and I <laughs> playing, I'm getting cheese, fam. <laughs> no, but I'm gonna be fine. real, like a lie? Like, come on, you're a man. A lie, Friday? Who, who do you have? That's too many timestamps. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to do the next yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm so mixy. One more? One more? Go for it, man. Playing and you're shorty. You're shorty. You come home and you're shorty. <laughs> I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me. You're getting vexed, See, fam. He, he said it for me. I've been moving calm, don't start no trouble with me, fam. <laughs> I'm getting cheek, fam. If I are here, 
I don't know. I, I'm yo. I'm, I'm a man. I'm, a be, I, I I'm being I, I, real. I, I, I'm gonna have care. a little feeling if I hear a certain guy I'm, I don't rock with. And I make it clear I don't rock with the guy, and you're playing his tune <laughs> around my youths too. Oh my God! Yes, I'm getting vexed. And he's probably subbing my youths and you on the songs that you're playing. Oh, fam! Oh, you walk into the house right at the same time when the fucking bar comes in, where you where he goes right at your head top. Oh God! You're like, damn, babe. That's yep. how you feel? Yo, I never really thought about it like that. That that hits different and no one else will like feel where you're coming from, fam. Yo, what if you can't escape it, fam? You're in the fucking Walmart. <laughs> you're trying to buy one, two toilet paper and I don't win it, I don't try, oh, but with me. Oh, shut God. up, nigga. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> well, no, maybe not that. But you know, you feel like it inside. Yeah, yeah, you feel like <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Yeah, it would Shit, be nigga. Bad. Why are you so famous? <laughs> yo, this is why I'm telling you when the club opens up, yo, the DJs are gonna juggle play certain dudes. Mm. What yo? Does he deserve a defers? Yes. Don't Gucci. put out my address, fam. You don't don't put out yeah. my address, fam. Don't do that. I don't care it's, who knows my address or not. Don't just, put out my address. Fam. He, don't do that. He, Has just, he gone too far? He, uh, he gone too far. Because he's just in his feelings, bro. Like, okay. The street niggas would say he's moving like a cop. He just hate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. All right. I feel like he just hate a lot, man. That showed it a heart. Like, you just show that, yo, you have so much hate for me, bro. Yeah. You know I mean, because Drake's clearly winning too, right? Stick to the music, fam. The man must have went into his his, his, his shotty's phone before they, they separated yeah. and seen something he didn't want to see. Because I swear I've seen that before. Like, he, Drake would message his... Kim on purpose just to say what's up like how you doing like you know yo the man says in one of his tunes <laughs> he sees Chris Jenner and talks twice and he waves right like he just like when he's driving down he sees mom do say hey, uh, hey. Yeah. she probably back at Drake hey in fact. hey Aubrey you coming by tonight for the no cause he's feeling himself so remember you're the king of your castle and then you feel a little small if your shot he's you know, grouping off this guy, and you know that his music is hot. Uh, and you, your ego's so big, that yeah. will get to you. Like, you're just like, yo. And you got more money than you. Fam, you're no, not no, going to. Not even that. Remember, your shot is technically a bigger art star than you. Yeah, but you're, remember, he's a, a bigger entity. I should say mm-hmm. star. Uh, she's a bigger entity than Kanye is. So even that to she your ego. More money than yeah. Though. He's probably, yeah. You don't? He got like, he's a billionaire. Yeah, he's a billionaire. Okay, okay. But like that That's what's gonna make him Feel even worse Cause you know you're richer But he She's probably someone that Wants that type of person That young mm, that, that, that That vibrant Toronto That yeah. music That type of And he, you probably know it Deep inside that like She doesn't really want me like that Fam you're a billionaire But you hang out with <laughs> With fucking Virgil And the next there yeah. the Next to you he got, he got a bunch of M's and he hangs out with Chubbs and demand the them. Yeah, you know that. You, trust me. Probably when they say Drake around there, she blushes a certain type of way. <laughs> yo, what, what, it's like, Kanye. yo, fam. Like, you, everything's pissing you off, fam. Like, Kanye, Kanye's <laughs> fish and chips, Drake's poutine. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's so angry, bro. Like, he doesn't want to be around there more times when they're in a relationship. Like, he's doing his own thing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, yo, so fam. now he's dropping the Addy. Well, poor Kanye. Any more, anything else on this before we get off of this shit? Nope. Uh, Rick Ross is saying like... He, yes. Rick Ross was saying that like, you know, he just feels like there's nothing, it's not personal. He's trying to say like, yo, it's entertaining. Like, you know, like these guys yeah. are two entertainers that's like, they're both genius. They know what they're doing. And like, he's trying to say, yo, he talked to Drake and he felt like Drake saying, yo, this is going to be, this going to actually free me. Free my mm. mind, free who he is. Like, I don't know what's behind that, but he's trying to say, like, yo, there's going to be something to this. And he's, he's calm. He's laughing about it. He, like, so he's trying to say, this is all, it's all good. Well, remember when the thing first happened, Drizzy posted the picture of, or the video of him. What the fuck was he in? Like, some kind of Jeep? Some Montero <laughs> yeah. Jeep or some just shit? Just laughing. Yeah, just he just some, laughed. Something way below his pay grade, the man was just sitting driving in. <laughs> He's un, he was just unbothered. <laughs> you know what yeah, saying? Why, like, why do you need to be bothered? This guy's sitting in the back of a Wrangler. <laughs> Real quick, though. Drake made the, the people wait for this whole album for eight months. Yeah, just capping, capping, capping. Not even month eight after months. Month. 
a year because wasn't this album supposed to come out last year? Yeah, but he broke up his leg, then he caught the vid. The man caught the vid again. We've been waiting for this album for like three years now. Yeah, yo, he's tweaking. You know, nigga, he's tweaking. Um, okay. Speaking of tweaking, fresh and fit. Okay, mm-hmm. we've never discussed fresh and fit here on the pod, like fucking the manosphere and all these different podcasts and different. Because we don't like shows. talking about them American niggas, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna show them some love though. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. show them some love. So y'all, for, for, in, y'all in the room know who Fresh and Fit is, right? You know, I do. Gucci, I don't you know, know Fresh Gucci, and Fit? No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll show you a quick video. There are two guys who basically they talk about being alpha males, and you know what I'm saying. Um, Kind of like Kevin Samuels. You know who Kinda. Kevin Samuels is? Yeah. But like on a, on a, like, maybe on a B tier level. Yeah, well, they're like, you know, if you work out, if you fucking, if you make yourself a better man and you know how to really deal with these fucking girls because they're, all they're going to want is your money and your clout and different things like that. Yeah. They live in Miami as well, so they, they have a different level of women that they're always dealing with out there. Yeah, too, facts. Right? The but, level is different. Still. And really quick, they have different women that come on their podcast yes. all the different times. So baddies. Like, sometimes. Levels uh, of sometimes. baddies. We're talking about Miami. No, no, but, no, but, no, 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 it doesn't matter. Sometimes. No. <laughs> sometimes. You a see, lot of Reggie. Do you see baddies right there? Oh. No offense. Oh, I thought it was like a co worker. <laughs> I didn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Gucci. <laughs> Gang. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> They've had academics on the show. Yeah. Right? And this is my introduction to them. And I seen them during the academic session kick out a girl. And I was like, oh, that's strange. That's fucked up. Yeah. But apparently that's a thing that they do all the time. They've been having beef with like some other guys. What's the guy's name now? Preaching what? I don't remember the other guys, but they're former co-hosts that used to be on the show. No, no, not on not these guys. The guys that they have beef with that have another podcast preaching they, something, something else. They but used to be on the show. They used to be on this show with them. Yes, I don't fam. know about that. The two guys that are you talking? Are we no, talking no, about the, the two guys that, that we're going to be breaking out this situation here? Those two guys were on the show. Oh, okay, okay. I thought they have about beef with with another podcast that like is out of the UK or I don't know what the oh, fuck. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't right? know. Right, and they've been going back and forward. Okay, I'm just giving you all some premise here, right? Okay, my bad. I didn't know about In that. In this back and forward, they've been ex- like, trying to expose. Uh, these guys have been getting exposed. Mm. So apparently, because they have enough shotties that be on the show, I'll even show you some some quick fast some shit here, Gucci. Um. I was just an example of some of their videos, right? Uh, like there was a time when, like even when academics was on, I think they had like ten girls there. Yeah, the yeah, they had no right there. Girl. So that how that one? Are they famous? Like why they like? Well, look at it. Sixty-six thousand views since August twenty-first. They get their views in. Um, look at that. Look pretty at much that. described. I, I don't want to lie, but a lot of you guys described some. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clearly, we, we, we love hip hop. Right? Out of the eight, how many baddies hey. did Gucci? Honestly, they're all going and stuff, you know. But the thing is, so valuable and why like, a man should that's Miami level. So I can't say they're all you. baddies, you know. We love hip. We love like if they're over hip-hop. here. Actually, no, that girl, yeah. I'm lying. So. Yeah, I'm lying. I'm lying so. Nah, he tweaking. I'm tweaking. So. <laughs> So, watch out. That monopoly over time where your time is more valuable than the man's. That's all I'm asking. What do you bring to the table? Okay, you can leave. Wow, she didn't even say nothing. Hold on. I want to wait, wait, wait. Let's go back a little bit because what was she saying before till they got to this point? Because this is a regular thing. Okay, and then they spent mad time kicking the girl out. Like, it takes like about 10 minutes. And I'm like, we're just watching them trying to kick the girl out. Okay, you can leave. A lot of you guys said that. Time is worth more than the individual. We, we, love, we love hip hop. I'm asking you. Table that allows you. I got to bring it back more. Yeah. God damn. To Are you sure this is not like depending. a skit? Like for her to yeah. just, do, just leave on purpose? That's a fucking good question, Gucci. 
That's a good fucking question because it happens so often. That it's like it's almost like you might be scripting yeah, this shit, like, my nigga. Yo, yo, yo! Before we start, yo, just you know, just act man, just cut out. You know, we gotta make this interesting. All right, all right, all right, all right. look, she's smiling too much yeah. at the beginning. Like there was no argument Sorry, for her to leave. Yep. Right? Oh, and then now, now they go backstage and they spend like fucking the rest of the rest of the video kicking the chick out. Right? They gotta be, have a beat, it gotta be entertaining, right? You gotta make it and You can't just right? so these guys right now are having issues issues with some guys to not to bring it full circle who used to be on their staff okay apparently these mans ran up in the fucking studio with the fucking burners mm-hmm. so watch this and they had to record everything yeah, yeah what's your issue they, 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 they go live the guess what he said yeah they'd be not live when they're doing their show that was his problem that was his choice let me see it's right here it's right here yeah, go back, oh, go back, go back. Family, don't come in this house. Yeah, don't, don't come in this house. Watch the show. Watch the show. Watch the show. Okay. She's getting the fuck out of Dodge. She's like, nope. Um, <laughs> does anyone want me to tell you what's going on? Me and homegirl here in the red, orange. We're going to tell you Yo, what's man. That's mod. I rate it because I feel like this is all a skit and whoever thought about this shit, I rate it. Skit, eh? I feel like, yo, like. So show, bro. So step the fuck outside, you old pussy ass all right. nigga. Come on in. Who's Look, you see how he's enough, right? Come on in, bro. Don't you want me to come, come in? Come on in. Because you're a fucking pussy snitch. Okay, exactly. You're a police calling ass pussy okay, ass snitch. Exactly. Nigga. That's why you're coming in. Holy, you a fucking oh, no. pussy Don't do it, man. Yeah. Oh, no. Allende. Allende. I'm a preach. You yep. ain't worry about the nigga. Yep. You're, you're literally crying. Crying. Yo, the other you're guy standing there with his phone. Right now, <laughs> look, 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 you're, you're committing a crime, crime right now, bro. Look, you gotta rape yeah. this fuck about crime. Oh shit! I can't even about... take this serious, bro. <laughs> like I think I just I feel that like well that's my energy like mm. I come in, like my gut feeling fake saying like us. yo this is fake and like they planned this you know what I mean but you gotta yeah, plan yeah, it good yeah. like some people don't have to know you can invite guests some girls they don't gotta know yeah. to make it real and we plan it's like yo. Let's get your PK, get someone to come in here and act like we're about to get into a fight. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, like, if you no. really think about stuff to do like that, like, it could be really entertaining, bro. No, you got to make right. stuff and people are different, watch, yeah, You people want people are to talk take, like, about it, people, like we're doing yeah. right now. Yeah, and they've been exposed in other ways too, right? Yeah. Like, I guess the whole beef that they've been even having with their getting exposed is, yeah. they always talk about, you know, you got to be this kind of guy and this kind of guy and this kind of guy, but like apparently these guys are paying for pum pum, right? The the one guy who talks the most shit, it, they say that he he does the, the mailing brides, the mailing brides and shit like that, right? <laughs> I heard and, they even paid to get the girls on the show and shit yeah. like that. Not only that, like they're like, yo, if you don't smash, you can't be on the show. Mm. Mm, that's an idiot thing. Nah, I like I like it though. This is different. Like you know even. It could be real, but like inside of me saying like, you know, this is kind of like a skit. And I mean, just by even seeing how the girl just left, like I was like, uh, she just looked like, you know, that was planned out. But mm. I'm just, you know, like it's good. Like, the idea of it, like, yo, that's good. Cause you got to make yours different. Like mm-hmm. how's your podcast going to come out? There's, and especially in America, right? It's in yeah, America. Yeah. How are you going to come popping? You got to like. You have you to come with something. some different ideas and yeah. make things really kick off. You know, and what they're mean? new too. They're not that old. Like they haven't yeah. been around for years or anything. They've so been you, less than a year. Because yeah. it's funny that Gucci said that because that's how I found out about Adam. Mm. Remember when that situation happened to, to him, him when yeah. the guy oh, ran up into the gun. store, yeah. fam? The man ran up into the store, fam, with a gun, bro. Yeah, while the man was doing an interview. Yeah. Some mud thing, That's you know? crazy. Well, yeah, you have to switch it up. You have to do something different. Well, fuck. I don't want to say salute to these guys because they're really out of. Read it right now. Ah, oh, salute to them. Yeah, They're doing their thing. Salute, I guess, yeah. Whether it's yeah. a fake or not. This is just a lot of mixy, mixy, wild shit that seems to be going, going on over there. I got a question for y'all. Can good parents have, like, good, car- pa- good parents versus bad kids? Okay? Mm. Because there's a whole thing that people go through or people say that, you know, well, it's the parents' fault. It's the parents' fault, right? Mm-hmm. When, they, when they got kids that are in the streets, that are like into like a lot of fuckery, right? Yeah. And there are some cases where it's true, right? Where the parents are into a lot of street <clears throat> shit or, you know, they're just looking at an example of what they've seen their parents going through, mm-hmm. right? So they're just fucking repeating it. But then there's a lot of examples of people who just have hardworking parents 
work with doctor, not even doctor, but like nurses, different things like that. Like that's popular, especially in, in the black community, nurses yeah, and shit, nurses. right? So it's not like your kids, they're watching you fucking out there trapping, right? Um, and even like with a lot of different communities who might not even be the most hood shit, but then the guy gets into fucking a bunch of fuckery. So I ask, I say all that to ask y'all, cause we've all been in the streets. I'm not saying, cause this is, you know, we're not in the streets, but when we got into the streets, when we were younger, what was it that influenced you all to get into the streets? Money. I, I didn't have it. <laughs> you don't have it, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you get into it for, well, I assume that everybody gets into it. Not everybody, but a lot of people do get into it for the money. Fast cash is money. Seeing something there that, you know, you might not be able to get, but you got to go work for it. You got to go hustle for it. I was working a job and it was still not enough. So mm-hmm. it was just like, fuck, bro. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like you were like, yo, everybody's trapping in the fucking house. <laughs> like, me, me too. Nah, I mean, I, I, I knew what certain people were doing and shit like that. But to me, it was more of a situation where I just wanted my own shit. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to get it on my own. I didn't want to yeah. ask nobody for nothing. So I just was just like, fuck, let me go work. Mm-hmm. And when I realized, oh, this this working at um, Walmart and working at McDonald's is not going to be enough to go get a car. It's just like, shit, what else do I got to do? Facts. Okay. Facts. okay. What about you, Gooch? Same thing. Like, he said it best. Um, just... You just want things that you you know that like you can't get by doing a nine to five, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta mm-hmm. hustle for it, you know what I mean? Like I have an example, like I seen a guy pull up in a Benz, like you know, in the CLS in front of my building. And the, the day I seen that car, I'm like, yo, like I was I so that. like, I felt like it was a Lamborghini to me. Like mm-hmm. I was like, holy shit, like, you know, like, and I seen a baddie walk downstairs and I never knew she lived in the building or, you know, stayed yeah. in the, my own building. I never seen this girl and she looked so bad walking. I'm like, I was just, I was just a younger me looking at the car, looking at the girl going in the whip. I'm just like, yo, like I, this is something I want, bro. It yeah. Look like a spaceship. Mm-hmm. And before you know, like I, you know, like years down the line, I got the same car, you know, in a newer version. But yeah, like it's just, it just yeah, like things you want, you just know you can't get from a nine to five. So it just makes you, you want to just go out there and get it yourself somehow. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess with me personally, like you know, because I didn't grow up in a household where like my mom was a nurse. Okay, right, mm-hmm. single parent household. It was just me and her. You know what I'm saying? Like I had my aunts that were around and stuff, but they weren't in the streets. Like mm-hmm. everybody was super fucking square. And we didn't grow up in the hood. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? However, single parent household, the amount of money that she can give me, she want to spoil me, but I can't get all this shit just yeah. like how you guys, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to look more fly, you, you know what more, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, you know, you start to get into the stealing. Like when I was a booster when I was young, you know, like when mm-hmm. I was a teenager, like, we used to boost clothes like crazy so that we can be fly and then also flip the fucking clothes, yeah. right? But when I started like, what we have is like a junior college in, in, in Montreal. Yeah. I started seeing my first bosses and shit and they had the big Gucci link chains mm. and they were counting big stacks of money like mm. at the school and shit like that. And I was like, yo, how do I, I get, get that? How do I get what y'all motherfuckers yeah. got? And that's when I was introduced to crack. Yeah. Right, like yo, just move this, and then you get yeah, you can have this. Okay, it's crazy. So, so because I remember uh, I was watching Love and Hip Hop. Don't hate me, but um, and Young Jack was on there, right? Going and down. Was, and so he was getting at his you because like his you, I guess, got into a situation where he's friends with somebody that shot up his pops' his freaking club, mm-hmm. and he's still rocking with the nigga after he shot the nigga's club up. Yeah, and his, and Young Josh trying to show him like, yo, fam, like, I'm trying to save you because like, if you're rocking with this nigga, that means you don't rock with me, fam. Because he, he, you know, he got people in danger. He's pretty much making the man lose his club, mm-hmm. and like, got to the point where yo, Young Jock put hands on the man, bro. Like, pause on the nigga. Look, first he threw the chair, and he was real aggressive, and homie was talking, and he wasn't hearing it, fam. Like he, we gotta go back a little. We gotta go back. You walking around this. Telling me I'm wrong for telling you some real. I ain't sat here and said you wrong yeah. for nothing. I'm trying to keep my cool. I'm trying to keep it's my composure because I know how can get out here. 
and I'm trying to make sure that this don't happen with myself and my son. I'm not finna play with you. I want you to be the best you. You say you know that. I'm right here so that can happen. I'm trying to move on. Look at my head. Woo! You gonna swing on me? Yeah, whoa, that's too much. Oh man, yo, got to Virgo too. I didn't even swing on me. Right, so even he's so like you know, but yeah. But yeah, for that situation, like, just to give more context of it, too, because Jock wasn't really in his life like that, right? Mm. But he did give the youth a job there or something, so the youth's there, which I think is the wrong thing to do. You can't bring kids around that kind of lifestyle, one, because mm. that's a lifestyle where anything happened. Even though it's just like you feel like, oh, it's a bar, it's my working environment, yeah. that environment is wrong. And I think what you need to do just any parent is you got to get your kids into hobbies find out shit that they like from young and push that shit on them fam yeah. it could be games it could be lego building shit push that shit on them mm -hmm. when you don't and you tell them oh they can't do this and they can't do that that's how they're like okay well let me go get drugs then yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm yeah. saying let me go try play ba basketball like let me do the, the things that everybody else says that i can possibly get out but when you're pushing a different narrative into a youth's mind from young mm -hmm. Then they have the, the abilities to be like, oh, okay, while well, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. So I, I don't really want to do that because that's kind of how I was. I was playing baseball. I was into sports. I was doing shit You're until occupied. my mom and my mom and dad broke up. And then it was just like, Boop. I ain't have shit to do. Yeah. I had all the time in the fucking world to go outside to find out about this, watch niggas do this, have girls come over to my crib because my mom was working. So mm -hmm. that becomes the problem. But once you get kids into any sort of hobbies that they like, not what you want them to do. Yeah. What they like, I think a lot of these kids will be saved, fam. Yeah. Well, oh, you're right. You're right, man. Like, yeah, the idle mind is the devil's playground, right? Super facts. So, yeah, man, I just wanted to, to, to like, pick your brain with, with that right there. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of times people will just be like, well, fuck. Well, look, your kid's a fuck boy because look at your parents. They're, they're fuck motherfuckers, right? But no, not really. Partially, they might be hardworking yeah. people. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Doing their thing, showing as a good example, and you just did what you decided to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But last thing I got here um, before we before we get out of here, where's my sound effect now? Mod take, thinking of mod take. Okay, is, this is mod. Now, it's obviously the mod thing of the week. It's been going along. It's going strong for a week now. I thought it was going to only last maybe two days. Mm -mm. But the milk crate challenge, aka the hood, the hood Olympics, <laughs> right? I don't know. They've tried everything now. This, Snoop Dogg has been a very avid supporter of this. I've been watching his page for a lot of <laughs> updates on what what the most crazy one is. Watch this one. They're at the funeral. <laughs> Damn, bro! <laughs> oh, I told you, bro. I said, man, I told you, bro. I said, bro. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's one example. <laughs> now that people have taken it to like, okay, let's just make Perry. Snoop Dogg's been going crazy. Look at this. this is a I different know one. Know like, know more complicated. <laughs> Two tier oh. milk crate challenge. Oh. Okay, so one end. And then you gotta. And then you gotta around. go down the other side. Run it, 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 run it. He definitely did it. Come on, man. You never know. No, he didn't. He didn't. And obviously he's got the blunt. He's got a beer. So he made it up the first tier. Now he's got a turn. He's done. And for the listening oh, audience, he's now he's now he's, now he's now made the turn completely. Oh, okay, he's at the top. He's at the top. Okay, he's coming down. He's coming down. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> oh Snoopy is crazy. Salute Uncle Snoop, man. He showed him that. Listen, Snoop Dogg has been keeping up with it. Like, I think he's been super, like, okay, 
YK, y, YK Osiris. Oh my god. Um, Blueface, I think, has done it too. Yeah, yeah Blueface done it. He got it. Yeah. Shout out to the guy that did it when he was rolling the blunt. I seen that on PK's <laughs> That's where page. I, uh, this guy right here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I seen this on right. PK's page. Watch. Chuck, he just rolling and finishing the blunt. So when he come down, he gonna light it. When he come That's down, he gonna light it. Yeah. Yeah. So when he come down, he gonna light it. Yeah. And gold yeah. metal goes too. Oh. This guy got the this most ratings for the first one. Of course, the light skin guy gotta do it, right? Yes. I know, right? Yes! On the crate! Team light skin for the W. Yeah, he rolling on the crates, cuz! Yeah! He rolling in on the crates, cuz! Get out of the lighter! 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 He ain't stuck. <laughs> he, ain't stuck. <laughs> he looks so unbothered too. Like, yeah, that, that's what I just do every day. It's crazy because one person actually died off of this. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Um, a, a lady from Dallas. What? She <gasps> dropped and hit her head. On her it's, head. Yeah. It, it's on um page, but yeah, like <laughs> yeah, Time she stamp. yeah. <laughs> but kid, she yeah. I you see. I was like, putting the- quotations timestamp for this episode. Here. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I <laughs> see. I was like, whoa! Someone actually actually died off of this. That's crazy. That's a mod thing. That's a mod thing. Where's the fucking sound effect? Mod thing. Thinking a mod thing. Yeah, you can really mash up yourself for real. Man. That's sad. That is sad. Yeah, Damn, man. Oh man. Well, listen. I, like I said, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer or the. Fun police. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Choice of words. Choice of words. <laughs> Choice of words. Time stamp. Hold on, we got one more. Breaking news, maybe? Breaking story. Yeah, bring it, bring it, bring it over. Oh, that's the video? Oh, there's one more milk crate challenge. Let's see what here. What is here? Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, on straight. Let me check out here. Here, here. Take the phone, Gucci. I'm gonna pull it up here on straight out of the six here. Let's see here what's going on in the scene. Big up, man's like straight out of the six. Yeah, man, doing big things in the city, always keeping us up to date on things. Also, too big up uh, Speaker Rod TV that also uh, shout me out, man, trying to get my page up as mm-hmm. right there. This is good. No, first off, money. the hood, the 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 hood of uh, Olympics officials have to make sure that those are official crates. Yeah. And then mm. we can get it because I didn't see the red crate at the top. I don't yeah. know. I'm not sure. Regulations. We got, yeah, we got to make sure that the regulations are there before we uh, give a uh, homeless man here. the. But good job, though. Good and job. it got to be high enough, too. Like, I see yeah, people yeah, doing yeah, it, like, yeah, sure. on some little yeah. crates. And- well, that two-tier challenge, that, that that has to be the right now the top one. But yeah. salute to everybody out there fucking doing the challenge. You know what I mean? Just stay, stay, stay safe. You know are what you going to do it? How fun. Come on. Come on. Take, take, take a month. Guys, are you going to do it? I'm too old for that. My legs don't work like that. Come on, man. I'll do it, actually. I'll do it, but it has to be on grass. We don't have Not concrete. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you have to have pillows on the side. <laughs> Just in case. Well, yeah, let's let's wrap it up here. Let's, yeah. let's fucking call it a night here. Um, Gutsy, guys, let the people know where to find you. All that good shit. Which camera am I on? Um, This one right over That here. one. Hey, it's your boy Gutsy Guts. Follow me, the Gutsy Show, Mr. Gutsy Guts on Twitch Free. and the real Gutsy Guts on TikTok. YouTube, Gutsy Ow. Guts, dropping content weekly. And yeah, man, uh, Six Views TO okay, on okay. all social media platforms. Ow. And a, a little something before I go. Um, in a magical world called The Wire, there was a thing called the co op. It's where all blocks came together they made money there was no beef there was no problems any beef anything came resolved in the co-op I know it's a fantasy world but maybe that's something that Toronto might want to think about yeah 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 yeah. well be safe guys let's get to the motherfucking building talk to talk Oh yeah, my bad. Ow. My motherfucking birthday next week, yo. Birthday. You guys promised me shit last Ow. year, so I need some. I need some Ow. shit this year, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got you, Gutsy. And we're gonna, oh, and we're gonna. Oh, this six views uncut next episode, bomber. And by the time we get back in. to next week, like your birthday will already pass. So yeah, happy early birthday to you. You know what I'm saying? Ow. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. More life, more life, more fire. Real, real, August life, August work. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been a great. I can't. I can't lie, man. The last two years have been great, though. Right. Just with the pod, everything that we've done, not even just for we love hip hop, but just how we've helped artists, or how I felt like we've helped artists and just entertained the city, bro. Yeah, and make sure to show the nigga some love on his Instagram. Even yeah, the Gucci one. show, yeah, man. Like, poor thing, man. Gucci Gucci, talk to the people. It's your boy Gucci. You can find me on my personal page, Gucci416. Hey. And shout out to my boy Chris. He's helping out with my business page. Not Clear Sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shout out to my boy Chris. He's helping me with my business page, Clear Star Studio 6. And he's helping me with my YouTube channel. So, you know, you guys check that out. You know what I mean? It's, it's run wicked right now. You know what I mean? It's moving sick right now. So, you already know. It's your boy, Gucci Gang. Yeah, man. Good show, guys. You know what I'm saying? Big, big, big salute to PK Herc in the motherfucking building. Big salute to all the fucking whole city, the whole country doing their thing. Episode 237 in the vault. Make sure to follow me on all social media platforms. Friday, Ricky Dredd. That's D-R-E-D. Um, this, this one's on, on, on Twitter. Yeah. Um, also, make sure to hit me up on or hit us up for everything else we love hip hop related. We love hip hop.ca. If you need to book any time, um, whether you need the studio clear of equipment or with fucking equipment and engineer and all them type of thing, hit us up on our Instagram page, Visionary Art Center on Instagram, as well as on um, Gmail, Visionary Art Center at gmail.com. Ah, what you want to hear for your birthday guy? What you want to hear for the, for the, for the, our departing right now? Talk I to me. Hear from my birthday tune. Does it have to be Toronto? Don't have to be. You could hear whatever the fuck you know, want. The play the Kanye. You're going in his bag. No, 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 no. Selecta. I want to play um Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Ah, which wrong one? idea? Wrong idea? Wrong idea? Snoop Dogg. Wrong idea. Uh, okay. Let's go. That's what a great album too. Ooh. What's up, nephew? 